Hello and welcome everyone. In previous videos, we had seen that how do we define a user defined functions and what are the global and local variables. In this video, we will be dealing with the anonymous functions. We will get to know what are the anonymous functions and why do we actually need it. So first of all, when we were defining the user defined function, how did we go for that? We were clicking on the new, we were clicking on function and then we were creating a function. But anonymous functions don't need to create a separate file. We can define an anonymous function inside the command window or the script file. If I am opening, by default, it will open a script file for me. So we can define our anonymous function anywhere. It is not needed that we have to create a separate function file for that in this format. We do not actually need this. So I will simply cut it. And now suppose I am defining my anonymous function inside the command window itself. I don't actually need this. Okay. So first I will write the syntax of how do we define the anonymous function and then we will proceed why do we need it. Suppose what I want is I want to find out the square or cube or natural log of any variable. There can be many variables and I want to perform the operations that just take a single equation. Suppose I am defining my function as cube. So cube is the name of my anonymous function. I will write equals to and then I will write at the weight and then I will define whatever the variable and then we can simply write square um, cube we are doing this for cube so this is the syntax of the anonymous function so there are several components in this this refers to the name of the function this is by default coming when we are defining a anonymous function this is the variable that we will input while we are calling the function and this suggests this whole is one command that means inside this i will open it that means this single command is the definition of our function we create anonymous function because just for a single line of command we do not need to keep a file separate added that and maintain it because it's just a simple equation and I do not want to save this file inside current folder. So I do not want to save this particular like function inside the current folder. This means that inside the same script, I can define a function and I can call it as many times as I want. So suppose I have just defined a function and I will give a semicolon. And then yeah, now we have defined a function. Now suppose I want to actually find out the cube of any number. So what I will simply write for calling the function is I will write cube because we have to write the name of the function inside the parenthesis. What we write is the x for which we want to find out the cube. Suppose I want to find out the cube of 6. So it will give me 216 which is the cube of 6. Now I hope that you guys must have seen my video in which I was defining the element by element method because dot here is defining the element by element method to find out the cube of a variable. By this I mean that I can provide as many variables as many numbers inside my variable x. Suppose I want to find out the cube for 1, 3 and 5. So I have just defined x and what can I do for that is I can press cube and I can mention x in here and then we will have the cube of our variable x. So this is how we create the anonymous function and this is how we call it. It is not like that um, the anonymous function only gives us one output only. It can provide us as many output as we want but that will be a totally intricate questions to right now discuss on. So now assume I am creating a variable a and I want to give it value 1, I am creating b, I want to give value 2 and I am creating c and I want to give a value of 3. Now what I can also do is I want to find out the equation for my parabola. Anything we can take. Suppose I am writing parabola here and we can write at the rate because we have to mention the at the rate because it is how the syntax of anonymous function is and we want to input suppose x we will input and then we will write the definition of our anonymous function. So Suppose that would be a times x square plus b times x and c and i will give a semicolon here now what i want is for every single value of x it will provide me answer but 
the values for a b c will be constant throughout my script until and unless i modify the value of a b and c so suppose i want to find out the solution of this equation for the value x so what i will write is i will write the function name which is parabola i will provide the value of x to it suppose 5 i am giving so this statement will solve this equation for x equals to 5 and a b and c values whatever i have defined up there so as soon as i run it i can see the value 38 coming out so this is just a very simple way how by which we can define the anonymous function so this was just a glimpse about how the anonymous functions work so i now hope that you guys are somewhat clear about what anonymous functions are and why do we actually use them and what is the syntax and how do we define and all of that so i hope you guys found it useful make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much